Wow, John, this thing is fighting. Wow. Good Lord almighty, guys. Look at the rod bend on that thing. What's up, guys? It's your boy Dan right back at you again with another... All right, guys, I can't even get my interest started. John's on already. As you can see, we're back out at our spot where we striper fish, and uh, we're going to see what he's got. He's probably got a small one on the end of the line. But uh, give me a couple seconds to walk up over here and kind of film him and what he's doing, and then I'll tell you what we're using to get these fish on the end of the line but yeah, he's going over near the tree all right here we go going over near the tree oh he just got it there he oh goes. no oh we got it. good there you go i think we've only been here 15 minutes and john is already on little one little striper here guys maybe uh 16 17 incher good job john <laughs> all right so let's get back uh, into the intro right here uh as i said we've got maddie that's right here from orange 22 fishing john obviously he's been on here multiple times here we got uh young that is his neighbor and as well we got one more guest that's my son right there so obviously you already guessed what kind of episode this is going to be it's going to be a striper episode we're going to change up the tactics you see john he's always got the uh, tandem rig going on but He's been changing up and noticing that uh, the trend was to get the fish on the end of the line is not using the artificials. We're gonna walk over here in a couple seconds. And uh, he's putting a new uh, bait on here, but we've got absolutely fresh gizzard shad right here, right out of our local streams. Carolina rig, just like we were doing the white catfish with, he's popping it right out there, way out there, and just sitting it and letting that egg sinker roll across the rocks and everything else that are over there and the striper just bang up on those gizzard shad heads so let's get to work i think the easiest thing for us to do is john and i are going to go back and forth including my son that's right behind me right here switching off in his rod and then hopefully young can get into the action and get the fish on the end of the line too so let's get to it guys let's see what we can get into john's rig backed up as i mentioned to you we have a carolina rig there's the egg sinker there's our barrel swivel and our leader line and the main portion of the gizzard shad that we have in this bucket right here is going to be the head. That's what these striper are targeting because they think it's another fish uh, that's swimming around its bait for them. Uh, the tail, again, pretty much is useless. You can just toss it out there or, you know, depending where you're at, you can use the tail as chum. But that's what he's casting out there to try to get that striper bite on. All right, man. John is uh, putting on a clinic already. Right. Five minutes later, another one. <laughs> Throw it out. You get it, But, uh, Justin, here you go, bud. You want to try? Yeah. That's my son, John, by right, the way. Justin, want to try? Yeah. All right, come here, Justin. <laughs> All right, so John's going to uh, show Justin the, the ropes here, uh, casting out here and catching the fish. But uh, in a couple seconds, I want you to notice what John does. It's very interesting what he does in order to catch fish on the end of the line. So give me a second to get this camera on my chesty, and uh, he's going to cast out there, and hopefully Justin will get a decent-sized striper out of that area there. It's amazing how far that thing casts out there. I can see it's, it's in the strike zone and it actually is a little fast. So what I'll do is see how it's just starting to roll down. Right. Let it roll. I'm just gonna, I can feel it on the bottom. So I want you to see something interesting that John is doing right now. Don't worry about the rod right here, guys. Just worry about what he's doing. You can see he's not looking out what's going on. He's got his head down. Sometimes he has his eyes closed. Kind of like almost a clairvoyant kind of thing that's going on right now. You're kind of feeling what you think is going to be happening. But he's feeling tactically uh, what's down on the bottom right there. Because you can feel on the line. That rod is very, very sensitive. And he can feel the rocks and feel the taps from the fish. So when he, there he goes. See that, guys? You got him? <laughs> but that's he's what he's feeling there. for. Yeah, he's, he's got him. There. He's around the thing, though. Uh-oh. Look, look. Oh, uh, yeah, he sure is, man. The rod tip's bouncing around, guys. There's a bunch of sticks out there. Right. He's trying to... Oh, he worked them out. He's off. <laughs> you saw the rod bouncing right there. He had him on there. But that's what he's looking and feeling uh, in his mind as he's got his head down with his eyes closed sometimes, feeling what's happening down below there. Because, again, it is kind of deepish over there. But that is the only spot, because if you can notice all the movement of the waters right here, there's kind of almost like a lull in this kind of like a half moon gap kind of thing right here. That's where he's casting out to, and that's where the striper are hanging out, ambushing those bait fish. But they're out there. Oh, 
as you can notice we changed locations we were just over right where the bend is at over there but uh lots and lots of snags so we decided to come down to the pier because uh i want to give young a chance to get fish on the end of the line because he has a high low rig that's the only thing he's got going on right now and uh, we're going to let this tide come in a little bit more because you can see it's still kind of lowish and once it comes up a little bit further then we'll head over to the bridge and hopefully pick that striper bite back up again but hopefully we can get an errant one out here chances are we might get a possible catfish as well watch out bud but i've got my rod out there now i'm just going to keep an eye on the lines i might have to go to a heavy sinker that's a i think that's a two ounce right there i do have some three ounces that are in the car i oh, know there we go there's the two and there's the three right here, so we might have to go to this one, depending on how this one's rolling around. So, oh, get it, Justin, get it, Justin. Hurry up. <laughs> that one's yours. Is he on there? Is he on there? Yeah. Oh, he's on there. No, I'm on the bottom. Oh, he's on that junk air. That's what it was. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta put it down lower. <laughs> well, that would have sucked, guys. Because <laughs> that's not a cheap reel on that thing. <laughs> Alright, we're all out here waiting for the next bite right here on this pier that we're on. But I want to have you guys direct your attention right down below here. I'm going to point right to this uh, trunk right here. If you notice, there's a whole bunch of them going right along the way. So if you can imagine up here where John was catching his fish at, this is what he's contending with. The rocks that are down below, plus these timbers uh, that are down below. And when these stripers strike up on the bait, they tend to go around these things to kind of snap the line off. But uh, John just missed a bite there a second ago. But that's what we have to navigate around, and we tend to lose a whole bunch of rigs, but that's okay, man. I mean, you know, we're losing one or two to get six seven eight striper on the end of the line over in that section because that's where they hang out so that's part of the perils guys you're going to lose rigs so you can't be out here worrying about how much money is being lost you buy the cheapest thing you can get get it out there get that fish on the end of the line but uh john's going to rebate back up again and uh get back out there is that the bottom or is that something on there or is that you no nah, it's young i think he's got something on her keeps going like this i don't know if it's is that a fish? Catfish, maybe. I think Young might have a fish on hold, guys. Let's take a look over here. See what he's got going on. Young, you got a fish on? Yeah. Alright, reel up, bud. Reel up quickly. He's reeling up, man. Take it take your time. He's gonna reel up first. Hold on. Is he still on her? Yep, he's got a fish on, guys. I saw it uh, surface there. It's a caddy, looks like. Yep. Absolutely insane how those catfish sit out in that tide like that. A little white catfish, guys. About a pound, pound and a half, maybe. <laughs> there we go, man. Check them out, guys. Got a little white catfish going on here. That's dinner if he wants to take it home. <laughs> Great job there, young. So I'm going to stick out here with my son. We're going to continue to fish for a few moments on the, uh, the pier right here. Young, who is just to my right-hand side, and then John. They're going to head to another pier because uh, Young wants to get some perch and catfish. And they're going to get to a little better location. So hopefully, uh, maybe John might come back, but he's probably going to be leaving. And uh, Justin and I, a little bit later on, are going to go down to the bridge as this tide continues to go inwards. But uh, we'll see if we can get a fish off of this section here real quick before we do that. But... Uh, Good job on that striper, John. Yeah, we got to get the tide going out. Yeah, and then good job, Young, on the catfish. Best of luck to you guys in your next location. Yep. And then uh, we'll see what happens here in the next okay. couple minutes. All right, man, stay safe. Good to see you. Pleasure nice to meeting meet you, you, bud. Yep. Nice All right, guys. John. Nice to meet you. As promised, we're back out here again. I got John and myself. And uh, we've got slack tide right now, so hopefully that'll change in maybe the next 15 to 20 minutes and start going out going. John seems to think that that is the best tide to catch the striper at. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get the gizzard shad back out here once more. And of course, you're going to watch John bomb out 
and right over to that tree as I mentioned to you. So we're gonna get a little overhead shot there. Boom, and it's way out there. You'll see the splash. Boom, that's where you need to be. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that, did you just cut me ahead? Mm-hmm. How thoughtful, John. <laughs> That's it, that is. That right there I just cast, that's the spot. As long as I don't get snatched. Alright, we're all hooked up here. And what do you want to do? Cast to the left, you said? No, I wouldn't cast. Um, oh, You're going here. You gotta watch. Yeah. It. You will slip. Where am I? Just cast um, like towards the tree. Alright. But a little to the right of it. About where I'm at. So I don't care if you go over the top because that can always be. Well, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's why. All right. Well, I'll have to worry about John now. He's going to break a second rig here. Are you kidding me? Two for two. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. <sighs> but before. Before I came down here, almost uh, destroyed myself, man. <laughs> you can see the skid mark over here somewhere, man. But I almost slid and died. All right, let me get out there, bud. Straight out in the middle left. Middle left. Is that all right? Um, yeah, I mean, I want to get farther out, but I mean, that's, well, that's as far as this thing's going to go. Yep, try it yeah, right there. All right. But you can see things are just getting ready to change right here. All you have to do is look right here. See the ripples? Calm on one side, calm on the other. So that's letting us know that it's getting ready to go. Yeah, I'm not getting the Olympic distance like John. <laughs> you saw where mine landed at. Watch where his lands at. And he's barely putting an effort on this uh, rod and reel combination. See how much further? At least another 20 or 30 yards beyond me. Okay. So the tide's not running hard, so we want to take it out real quick. All right, I'm going to take John's suggestion. He's telling me to cast right here, right where the gap is at. Right in that area, right there. You got one? John's on, guys. John's on, just like that. Now, this seems like a nice one, too. No? All right, let me get my uh, rod and reel out of the way here for John. And I know I'm going to fall down again, guys, because uh, this mud is treacherous. But the reason why John's moving over here, because that fish is going all the way over towards the tree, and there's so much debris and branches over in this section right here. But let's see what he has when he pulls it up here. About 18. 15 minutes, guys. He's the whisperer, as I told you. <laughs> He's coming. Here he comes. <laughs> Little one. Little baby. Little baby. Oh, there it is, guys. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> that hurt. Yeah. Almost into the road. Oh. There you go. Whoa. Nice. Look at this one, guys. <laughs> Holy mess. We got our uh, rule back here again. That is a chunk, guys. Absolute chunk. Hang on, get out of that mud. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right. Look at the size of this striper, guys. That's 20, 21. Flip it around here. Let's get the hook out of there first. Get your pliers on here now. Uh, here, it's right there. I got it. Big. I don't need my pliers. Right here. I see. Yeah, oh, he's feisty. Oh, I got him good. If we squeeze the tail, that is a 24 inch striper right in front of you here. Look how fat that thing is, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's 24, buddy. Really nice looking striper right there. But twice I've already fallen here. <laughs> <laughs> and I was on the grass. We're going to try to do this one more time. And then uh, we're going to try to be very, very careful. Try to stay off this mud. Yeah, stay off the mud. Just flick them out there. But uh, we'll get a nice little uh, drop into the water there. And she's turning around, she's gone. Yeah, I'm 
almost there. Almost, man. I'm, I'm trying to get the, I'm trying to get the launch right. That's for the timing for letting uh, the line go. And where my rod tip needs to be to get that distance. You on? Oh, he's on, man. Look at the bend on this rod. Here you go. No, go reel it in, man. Here's a nice one. Go ahead and get it in, man. All right, John's going to let me reel this one in. Seems like a decent one. It's on here. Oh, yeah. That's definitely a good one right there, guys. He was just like, when you start swimming to the right. Oh, my God. That thing has got some power on it, guys. Feel pretty good? Yeah. Definitely got some power on it, guys. I think he's in that current, though. I'm trying to get him off to the... Uh, left over here <laughs> holy crap i think this one might be bigger than the one john had earlier wow john this thing is fighting I know it. It might be wow good lord almighty guys look at the rod bend on that thing oh my god <laughs> wow wow we wow guys that is a fight it's pulling. Whoa! Yeah, it's, it's, a caddy. it's a caddy, man. It's a big caddy. <laughs> oh, I thought it was. Oh, Lord. Oh, he's, like, man. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's ripping over here, guys. Yeah. We got to try to guide him away. Yeah, just bring him on. There you go. Right. About three or four pounds, guys. <laughs> That's still nice. Yeah. Fish is fish. Oh. Got it. Well, we thought we had a giant striper. Of course, we've got a white catfish on the end of the line, but it's still fish. <laughs> I'd say if I had to figure out what kind of weight, three, possibly four, pushing it. Oh, she goes. Oh boy. <laughs> We're getting ready to get poured on. All right, time to put the hoodies on. Try to cover up the camera as best as we can. Hopefully this is just a passing little squall. <laughs> this is what separates the men from the boys. <laughs> Good thing we got a nice little 60 degree day to go along with this rain. Because otherwise it'd be raw, cold and nasty out here. You on? All right, looks like we're getting into a pot of catfish here, guys. Trying to get out of John's way, so. <laughs> no, you got it, bro. It's all you. <laughs> I think you got me there, buddy. Hold on, hold on. You got to switch over to me, man. You got me. Holy crap, he does have a striper on there. Ruin your line, ruin it, ruin some of your line. Ruin some of your line, ruin some of your line. So I know where you're at. There you go, you're over, you're good. John got another striper on, he thought he had a catfish on. Out in the middle. All right, let me reel this back in. This striper here was a little bit more patient. Get a measurement here, and that looks like it's gonna be, if we squeeze the tail, 22 and a half, guys. Again, another full belly. Great job, John. Where you be to keep 22 and a half? Uh, I have no clue. <laughs> Don't ask me questions. <laughs> All right, let's get this striper over here. Man, he's chomping down on my fingers, man. He's making a meal on my thumb. Still nothing on my end, but uh, she's gone. 